Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today I'm going to touch base on each of my masks in this room. And the reason I'm doing this, I know I've done other videos based on the masks themselves, is uh, because I rearranged the actual bookshelf, so I decided to go ahead and go through each one of those masks and you know, pretty much explain each every one of them. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start with this one here and then we're going to go on the wall show you all my paintball masks and my plague doctor masks and then we'll go over to the shelf okay but what you see right here is my actual wolf predator mask it is a paintball mask now when I take this off right here you can see the full potential of it right there it is a gorgeous mask for a paintball mask the color scheme everything is perfect in my opinion okay what's up with that I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, that is my Wolf Predator mask. Now we're going to move up here. It's going to be a little awkward. But we're going to come behind the tree here. And I'm going to light it up. Give you a good look at the tree right now. And then we're going to crawl behind it and show you the other masks. Okay? That's what it looks like so far, the tree. I plan on de redecorating it this year when I get closer to Halloween. Um, but I just got to figure out what to do with it. Pretty much. All right. This right here is my very first Plague Doctor mask. Oh, got things in my way here. Okay, I know it's a little dark over here. I apologize about that. But this was the first one and I actually wore it. It's a little hard to breathe in and the lenses are very dark. If the area is not extremely bright, it's not a good mask to wear. And this here is a paintball mask based on Jason Voorhees. Okay, this is another one. I like the black scheme. I always seem to be attracted by the black scheme. This one right here is from uh, Spirit Halloween. Okay. That's like 11 bucks for that or 15 bucks for that. Another paintball mask. You're going to see these masks here have uh, similar molds but different paint schemes. That's a British style. Kind of like Def Leppard. Okay. I love these masks. Totally black again. Like I said. Okay. I love black. This is the Americanized version. Okay. Another Plague Doctor mask. And this one here has got a very steampunk look about it. And down here is the cross that goes with the outfit. Now, like I said, I'm getting around the tree here, so it's a little awkward. Down here is a cheap um, $5 mask from Wish.com. It is, in fact, if I can give you a different angle of it. It is, in fact, a, um, a Wolf Predator mask. This one right here is more like a halo type mask, okay? I don't know if you can actually see it or not. This one here I got because it was like a death stroke mask. It's a very cool color scheme. It's comfortable to wear too. This guy right here, because I love pumpkins, I don't know if you can see him or not. Um, he's very cool. If you put this mask on, the mouth does move up and down. It's got very sharp, jagged teeth. Another halo type situation going on here. This one here is my steampunk. Plague Doctor, kind of like half mask. Okay, I know it's a little dark here, you can't really see it. But I do have individual uh, videos based on these masks if you want to check them out on this channel. And now we're going to move over to the other wall here. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back and we're going to start with um, the mask on the shelf that was actually hand built by me and my wife. I had to build one because I couldn't honestly find one online that was decent enough or you know cheap enough so we went ahead and built our own so anyway you're going to see some Funko Pops as well as some ceramic figures based on the mummy and Frankenstein along with a certain amount of masks I do have some on pre-order and I will eventually you know keep ordering these masks because right now I'm obsessed with ordering masks so this here is a demon mask I believe I got it from Party City a long time ago Literally, probably like 10 years ago. Could have been longer. It's one of the original masks that I got. This right here, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay, now this particular mask 
It's very comfortable to wear even if you have a big head. But the eyes, the sockets on them things as you can see, is extremely small. And you can only see forward. Alright, uh, the peripherals on this thing, if you try to move side to side, it won't do no good because there's not enough eye space for you to see all the way around. So it's not a very good mask to wear, but I don't wear it for that reason. I wear it, uh, I put it up here for uh, aesthetic reasons for my uh, displays. Ceramics, okay. That's a ceramic mummy, and this here is the ceramic Frankenstein. They do actually light up red inside. I didn't turn them on, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I got this one, and this one was still over there at CVS. So what I end up doing is I, I went back literally 15 minutes later and said to myself, if I don't go back, that damn thing's going to be gone. And I was lucky enough to find it there, and I ended up buying them both. They were like 20 bucks a piece. These are actually garden displays. You can put them outside, but I don't do that. This right here is my biggest Frankenstein mask. I got it like probably 10 years ago, from a, a company called Fright Catalog Online. And one day, about two years ago, I went looking for the website because I like looking through uh, their masks and stuff, and they were nowhere to be found. So I don't know what happened to the company still to this day. We don't know. All right. Give you a quick scan of the Funko Pops and my body knockers and um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, bobbleheads. You got some cups from Chucky and Pennywise. Pennywise is up in the back there. All right, Tara Toonies. Now, this one here is knocked over because I got to get a stand for it. I got to invest into some NECA stands like that one right there. Okay. And I got to do one for Reagan too because her feet are too small. And when you put this particular thing right here, it's, it's the puke <laughs> from when Reagan uh, threw up. Uh, makes her top heavy, so it's kind of hard to do something with her. But eventually, I will get that fixed. These are Terra Toonies, or Toon no, Toonie Terras, I think they're called. I get those words mixed up. All right. Back down here, we have my Frankenstein collection. This one right here is, in fact, let me get the camera angle here. That's a Ruby's, okay? It's a Ruby's uh, Frankenstein mask. You notice in the left eye, it's defective. Ruby's is hit and miss when it comes to the mask, but some of them are pretty cool looking. This one's not a bad looking mask at all, with the exception of that defect. The color scheme and everything is very cool on this. This one here I got from Spirit Halloween. Okay. Um, I ended up getting that for like 30 bucks. It's a Frankenstein slash zombie mask. Okay. Over here is a Universal Studios mask based on the Frankenstein monster. Okay. It is very cool looking as you can see. It's got some very cool color schemes. The design is perfect in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, okay. Spread them out a little bit. Okay. Uh -huh. There we go. All right. Now this guy right here is Herman Munster. Now as you can see, he seems a little deformed. It is a Ruby's mask. Um, when I first got it, this eye here was in fact not colored in. It came in defective like that, and plus when I did originally get it, it must have been really hot in a warehouse or something, because the mask itself stuck together, so I had to literally pull it apart carefully. But that is my Herman Munster mask. It's a little odd looking, but it's Herman Munster. You can't go wrong. He's got a big old forehead. Now we're going to get into some of the clowns. I did. I do have some on my wish list, some more clowns. Now this one here is very cool. I will eventually start reordering them again. Okay. But that is my, uh, and I forgot what he's called, but he's a scary clown. This one here is kind of like a, a Gene Simmons on roids. Okay. It's a very cool looking mask. You can get this one with red hair too as well. Now that guy right there is a demon type clown. Okay. And he's very cool. You can get him in black and red. Moving down here to the 1978 Trick or Treat Studios mask based on Michael Myers. This one fits fantastically, okay? You gotta uh, stuff it in a certain way. And that's the most important thing about these masks. This one here is Michael Myers, 2018 Trick or Treat Studios. That mask in itself is way too small for my head. 
I literally struggled getting that damn thing on uh, my head. I don't know why they decided to make them that small, but I think it's because it was molded from somebody else's um, head, and they were just too small, okay? Especially for us big head guys, it's, you can barely put it on. When I do put it on, I will tell you this, you can super stretch the latex, and that's not good. This right here is my steampunk version of uh, the Plague Doctor mask. And you notice on the beak here, it's got some very cool looking puzzle designs. It does have tubes up in the back that represent hair. I do have a picture, a couple of pictures, that show me wearing this outfit. And it looks really cool. This guy right here, I literally got him yesterday, okay? I just did a video. It's online. Go ahead and check it out, okay? It is the Mohawk um, zombie from the, the Return of the Living Dead 1985. And I just did a video on him. He's very cool looking. The way I stuffed him and everything. <clears throat> there is a bunch of uh, plastic bags in this thing to give him a full appearance. Season of the Witch. This is the skull. Trick or Treat Studios. The pumpkin. Okay. And then we got the witch way over here. Okay. Now down here. <clears throat> let me get down on my knees here. <clears throat> this is a scary pumpkin type uh, guy here. There we go. But you can barely see him. <clears throat> and like I said, I got individual um, videos based on these masks. You might want to go ahead and check them out if you really want to look at them. This one here I wasn't too happy with. As you can see, it's a full open mouth version. Uh, but it, uh, the color scheme of it and everything is really cool. Now that right there is another Frankenstein mask. I seen that on Amazon the way it was worn. The face and everything. The color scheme, very cool looking. I think it's a ghoulish production. I'm not positively sure. This guy here is a demon mask. Okay. I got him for like 10 bucks. The Boogeyman, I got him from Party City. I try wearing this thing. I kid you not. I started suffocating because the mouth does not have no breathing apparatus. It is completely closed off. So it's like putting a plastic bag over your head and sucking it in. That wasn't a healthy thing, okay? This guy right here is another scarecrow type situation here. And it's a burlap bag. As you can see, he's got a lot of teeth. Fun World Mask, okay, based on uh, Ghostface uh, from um, Scream. This guy here was extremely popular. When I posted him on Facebook, people love this mask. It's very cool looking. It is a scarecrow mask. It's called Scareborn. Okay. Look at that. That's freaking cool. Okay, well, that seems to be it on these uh, particular um, masks so far. Like I said, I will eventually be uh, collecting more once I can financially be able to do so. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I am going to be pushing out a lot more videos based on Halloween and horror. This is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.